I, I was very nervous when we when they first cast Friday Night Dinner, and I went to Robert Popper, who I knew, who who wrote it, who was a Jewish man, and was writing a story about his family, his culturally Jewish family, and I said, you know. I have Jewish ancestors, but I'm not, I don't call myself Jewish. And, you know, I'm nervous about the, I, I don't want to ever be seen to be creating a stereotype or falling into any kind of stereotypical groove. That means that you're then not going to connect with the the truth of the characters. And he said, listen, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm not worried about that. I, I'm Jewish. I know what I'm writing. I see what I'm seeing. Don't worry about that. Now, I think that, so that was back in 2009. If he was making the show now, of course, we would have very, very different conversations. So I think it's just really about being alive to the conversations that are happening now. And mm. to always be asking ourselves, is this right for now? And I think that that's, that's, that's only a good thing, right? Absolutely. And I think it is really interesting because I think a lot of the stuff, you know, that I grew up watching, Sex in the City, Friends, some of that stuff doesn't land anymore. And you do think, is it right just to cancel it completely? Question mark. I don't think so. I think it is about seeing it within the time frame that it was created. Yeah, I think I think whitewashing history is uh, is problematic uh, because it's not being honest about uh, who, who we've been. Mm. And, you know, like like I said earlier on, uh, you know, people people are more perceptive than you realize. And that if there is something being missed out, I think somewhere we know it. <laughs> And then are just left with that sense yeah. of being hoodwinked. And also I think it's there's an element of, of us not uh, allowing ourselves to grow up into, an, into new perspectives. If we say, well, that didn't happen. If I say to myself, that, that didn't happen, in a way I'm infantilizing myself because I'm not allowing mm. the, the grown-up part of myself to go, yeah, that did happen. How, what am I going to do about that? How am I going to live mm. with that? Which I think is the process of of growing up, you know, of growing into that level of self-understanding and self-forgiveness and then transformation. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think it's uh, I think it's very delicate and complicated and um needs more air than often we allow it. Mm -hmm.